Hello everybody, I'm James and welcome back to my hobby channel where I'm continuing with my discussion about the House of Balsa 1 half A size Chipmunk RC plane kit that I recently constructed. Now if you've seen the previous two videos on this you'll know that I'm not doing a step-by-step -step video log. This is just an overview and the reason that is is I didn't take any videos when I was doing the construction and then after I finished it I thought well maybe I can share, share this um, with the pictures that I took. So what I'm going to do, or what I've been doing, is just doing, I pick a subject like the fuselage, um, today is going to be the wing, and I talk about it, um, and I show it here, and then um, I show just some pictures of the construction. And um, that's the format, and in the future I plan on actually building, um, maybe doing some video logs of other kits that I have. So, alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the wing. Okay, well here's the plan showing the wing which is constructed directly on top of the plans. So there's a couple of central, up, there's an upper and a lower um, spar. There's a leading edge and a trailing edge strip. There's um, balsa sheeting on both sides, um, upper and lower of the rear part of the wing, and also on the leading edge um, part of the wing, there's an upper and lower um, balsa stripping there, or balsa sheeting, I should say. And then there's also balsa sheeting um, through the middle on both sides. Now the ailerons were cut out of a solid piece of um, tapered balsa, which is right here, and you just you know you just cut that in half essentially, and then the linkage for the aileron um, plugs into it, and then it's sandwiched between this um, piece of wood here, the trailing edge piece of wood, and then this um, this sort of trailing edge um, spar that's back there. <clears throat> So the aileron servo was mounted on the left-hand side of the wing, and here's a side view of that. It's shown right here. So there's the aileron servo, and you know, recessed into the wing itself. And then here's, of course, the cross section of the wing showing the rib. And then there's the upper and lower spar that I mentioned. There's the rear, the rear spar and this, the rear trailing edge, and then the um, leading edge spar, which all you know had to get shaped. And then this is showing, this is just basically the balsa sheeting on both sides. Um, there's only one portion of the wing that is not covered with balsa sheeting, and it's basically, let's see where it is, I think it's about from here over to here, you know, but it's just a strip in here that's actually not covered with sheeting. And then the tips are um, shaped out of just um, balsa blocks, so they just give you two um, rectangular balsa blocks that had just been um, glued on and then you just um, shaped them and I think that's it for the wing that I want to show on the plans okay so here's the constructed or finished wing and um, there's the aileron servo mounted in the wing as shown on the plans and then of course you can't see the the linkage goes through here and then it attaches onto the aileron right in this location um, I used um, CA hinges for the ailerons. I, in fact, well, I used CA hinges for, for all of it. Um, they were pretty useful. Here's the, the tips that are, of course, sanded down. Um, the wing mounts onto the fuselage with this small little dowel, which is kind of a little bit scary. And then also um, a bolt goes through the, through the back. So, you know, this is all pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty common, um, what you see on RC planes. Um, the, the, landing gear was just basically piano wire that um, is bent and then it plugs into it plugs into these little channels in the um, in these wood blocks and what I did was because the piano wire looked a little bit too skinny I just put some um, stripped some tubing and just to thicken them up a little bit to make them look a little bit more more realistic um, on the real plane it is fixed landing gear so they do they will be out when you're flying and then um, the wheel mounting, I think you might as well talk about that. The wheel mounting is just your typical, um, it's got that little hub on there. And then what I did is I put a little piece of, um, of fuel tubing to keep it kind of centered and to keep it away from dragging on the, um, on the actual strut. And um, that's, that's a handy way of keeping, keeping the wheel straight and also keeping it from wobbling around too much. And so I think that's about it. So there's the wing, at least the finished constructed wing. And um, now I'm gonna show some, some pictures. 
Okay, well, before I get to the pictures, I actually forgot one thing, and I do want to talk about um, these wing fillets. Now, these are constructed onto the fuselage, and I probably should have talked about those when I was talking about the fuselage last time. But um, obviously, these are related to the wing, and I waited till now because of that, because you have to have the wing constructed in order to make the, the, the fillets. And there's an um, interesting way of doing that, and it's actually really cool. So um, if you're not familiar with micro balloons, um, these are not unique to the RC world. These are just basically microscopic glass beads that are used to thicken up um, epoxy resins. So what you do is you can make your epoxy um, resin as thick as you want by adding these micro balloons. Um, these basically look like sort of like baking powder um, consistency. And um, you thicken up the, the resin um, until it gets to the point where you can actually keep its shape, where it's, you know, it can form sort of like a putty. And then you can form it um, how, you, how you need it. Now this looks like it's a pretty complicated thing to do because it's got, you know, this compound curve on it. And um, it actually is not too bad. It's actually kind of simple. So it um, came out really nice. And we'll be showing some pictures of that also. So, um, and this basically what this is doing is this is creating a nice, um, a nice contact with the wing. And it also simulates sort of the wing root um, of the airplane. So um, I wanted to add that before we got to the pictures. Okay, so let's look at some pictures of the wing construction. So here are the ribs being laid out and also the um, rib doublers being laid out. I like to do this to make sure I have all the pieces that I need before I start building. Okay, I started with the right wing and I laid down the bottom sheeting per the plans and per the instructions and glued on the trailing edge spar and I used those T-pins to hold everything down. Here's the wing a little further along showing the ribs glued down to the bottom sheeting at the um, back of the wing and then it also shows the central upper and lower spars and then the leading edge spar glued on and then the um, lower sheeting at the front is not yet glued down. Um, that'll be another step later on when um, we'll have to bend that over and glue it down to the, um, to the ribs. And here is the leading edge and trailing edge sheeting in place on both sides. And then this is the central um, sheeting in place that is also on both sides. And here are a few pictures of the left wing panel being constructed. Now the two wing panels are glued straight to each other. There is no through growing spar or support wood going in between the two panels. And I just used epoxy to hold them together. And then later um, an epoxy resin is used with fiberglass cloth to help support the um, center um, joint between the two wings. Here the leading edge balsa strip is being glued in place and held with um, clamps. The wingtips are carved out of a single block of wood using a template provided in the kit to, um, to give you the shape that you can see that I traced onto the, onto the block here. And then the wood blocks are, or the tips are just glued onto the end of the, um, under the wing and they're ready to be shaped later. The ailerons are controlled with a linkage that runs between the trailing edge spar and the trailing edge tapered stock as shown on the plan here. For a guide, I used a straight edge and an ink pen to mark the center line of the linkage along the edge of the trailing edge stock. Then, using an X-Acto with a grooving blade on it, I cut a channel in the edge of the trailing edge stock to make room for the um, aileron linkage. The aileron linkage slides into a brass sleeve, and that brass sleeve is glued straight to the wood. This secures the linkage and allows it to rotate freely. And here are the aileron and linkage assemblies glued to the wing and secured in place. A small hole is drilled in the um, end of the aileron and then the aileron slides onto the control linkage and then the whole thing attaches to the wing using hinges which are actually not shown in this picture. For a trial fitting I just taped the ailerons to the wing to make sure they um, looked okay. And then I just left the ailerons in place so I can use them as a guide when I carved the wing tips down. The center section of the wing was reinforced using an epoxy finishing resin and fiberglass cloth. 
Then I did a trial fit with the wing and the fuselage to make sure everything fit all right. Um, the wing is attached to the fuselage in the front using a dowel, and then it's attached on the back using a bolt, which I don't have a picture of, but here's the dowel. So for the wing root, there's a fillet that you have to make um, using micro balloons and a resin um, epoxy. And the kit gives you a template to use that you cut out of cardstock. And here's the outline of it. Here shows the outline this way, right there. And here are the templates being cut out of the cardstock. The templates were glued to the fuselage using wood glue. And then the fuselage was placed down on top of the wing. And then I just used tape to help protect the wing from getting any resin on it. The micro balloons are mixed with the epoxy resin to a consistency where it will hold its own shape, um, sort of like a paste or maybe like a caulking. It's kind of a trial and error process to get the right consistency with the micro balloons and then to place it onto the fuselage. Um, you just have to work with it a little bit, but it's actually not that hard. And you can get it roughed in, and once it's roughed in, then you let it cure, and then you can sand it to the right shape. I also did a little bit of micro balloon um, work up near the leaning edge where the um, wing attaches to the fuselage. And then all in all, I think it came out pretty good. Like I said, it looks may, may look hard, but it's actually pretty easy, and it's pretty fun to work with, and um, the results are really nice. Okay, well that's it for the wing. Um, next time I think I'm going to talk about the elevator and the rudder and also go over the covering um, of the kit. And until then, um, I'm James and this is On Hobbies and thanks for watching. <music>